Okay, last time we had just defeated GLaDOS, which turned out to be a mistake because now Wheatley is in charge and has dropped us down the incineration chute along with uh, GLaDOS, who was powered by a potato at this point and has been eaten or carried off by a crow. So, let's move on, shall we? So, how is everyone? I hope you're uh, all recovered from uh, the live stream on Saturday because uh, I've got even more coming up. Right, let's just see where we are first. And I think the answer is we need to go down here. And yep, we've got a lot to do this evening. Um, I want to play some Portal 2. I don't think we'll finish it, but um, anything we haven't played, probably play on Saturday to the uh, the ten hour live stream. And there's a couple of bits and pieces I want to do in Minecraft, so we will definitely be having an after party. We just need to see where we're going from there, and it looks like we need to go from there to there. Step through. Um, yeah, the part uh, that the, the, the live stream on Saturday, I'm thinking of starting at about 5 p.m. GMT, and then that will carry on through until well, 10 hours later. That's 3 a.m. So that's quite late enough for me, I think. And um, there's a few people I've invited to come on and have a chat, and. Uh, a few other people uh, who I've invited to come and play various games with me, so it won't all just be me going like I'm like an idiot. There'll be other people going on like, no, no, no. Right, so where do we go from here? Place is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Oh, sorry, sorry you won't be able to, uh, to, uh, to make it. Uh. But, uh, um, but uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll be putting bits of it up on the live stream. Yes, Dragon Wolf Tamer. I got up at what? So uh, it's uh, eight o'clock. Uh, what was it? About five o'clock this morning, wasn't it? Um, you were still up, and that makes it well past your bedtime, young lady. Well past your bedtime. Uh, still. Right, back to the game. We're still looking for... Well, where the hell are we to start off with? Because uh, this place is a complete mess. It's worse than my room. Keep out. Do not enter. Let's go in. Condemned testing area. Well, it can't be any worse than the rest of the area, can it? So, how do we get in? Well, given this is a nice wall there, there's going to be something we can uh, uh, open a portal to somewhere. Oh, there it is. There we go. My god, there's been a serious party happening here, isn't there? You belt! Oh. Where do we want to go from? Uh, Oh, that's fairly obvious where we go from here. Down there! Don't take this the wrong way, Dragon Wolf Tamer, but... Uh, I'm quite glad I'm not your daddy. I did one child. That's quite enough. Uh, keep out. Do not enter. Geronimo! So, we are in the old testing area, which looks like it's in a massive cave or something. And apparently involved lots and lots and lots of pipes. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, the tutorial continues. Pull lever. Oh dear, that is a big door. 
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is a big door. Uh, oh, actually, as you get closer to it, it actually looks like it's got textures as well. From back here, it looked like a, it was just drawn. But, yeah, okay. All right. Um, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Let's do this. So go one there, one there, because this one's got a one above it. This shack, shack here, that one's got a two. So I tell you what, let's put a portal there, and a portal. Oh, I see. We got to push buttons, and then we go through here, push this button. Ah, oh, and it looks like we've got the big door open. Accidentally slows the stream tab. Bad luck. Uh, you just started, yes! I've been playing now for, I should about six or seven minutes. We've just got into. Well, it looks like we're just about to go into an area that uh, needed to be locked off with that door. And. That in itself worries me, I've got to be honest with you. Huh. Okay, right. Ah, there we go. That's the exit I wanted. These are not the exits you're looking for. Are we going to see the cute turrets? I... Right, okay. Um, This bit is... The old testing grounds. The old testing grounds. And there aren't any high-tech turrets, but if we can play through this fast enough... Then yes, we will see turrets. But if not, would you look at the size of that door? Oh dear. Just what did they feel the need to seal off that badly? Yes, if we can... Uh, um, if we can get through it fast enough, yes, we will see the turrets again. Oh, Lady Sima, hello. Uh, oh, see, we've got a, a number of old fa uh, faces here. Which it's great to see you all back. Uh, Melody turrets forever. Okay. Yeah, don't think I want to go for a swim somehow. Yeah. Uh. They're not subtle about the warnings either. Look at this place though. Sense of scale. Magnificent. Sense of falling apart is magnificenter. Oh, good. Look at this. Right, there is white up there, so we might actually have to, to portal our way up, which actually seems quite likely, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get up the stairs. Oh, we can get up the stairs, All right. Let's do it the lazy way. Okay. Notice, experiment discontinued. Contamination area. Let's go somewhere else. Hmm. I think we're going to have to break in through this open door here. So, let's just look in. I saw some white behind there somewhere. So, do that, do that, and we just walk through. And we're inside. And there's another one of those levers. Which, just in case we didn't learn last time, you can press E to pull. Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. 
Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carol? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Oh, how true that is. Okay, so... I'm possibly going to go crazy for Minecraft again tonight. Well, we're going to be... I, I'm going to try to do both Agrarian Skies and there's some stuff I want to do on Iris. So, you guys will be getting plenty of Minecraft as an after party. Um, if you get in the way of some of these people here in their turrets, you're going to be in for a terrible shock. I'm going to warn you now, okay? Uh, okay, I think... We've got to somehow get onto this platform. And we can probably get onto that platform by... Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. So let's try something here. So if we go there... And... Here. And we've just got to fire an orange one on the way down, which sometimes happens. Sometimes it takes two or three goes. You're, we're not going to beat Cave Johnson. Uh, for reasons you'll find out on the way through the game. Let's go. Eee, too far. That worked a little too well. Hey. <laughs> uh, What are we missing here? That's obviously not what we need to do. What's up here? Well, that looks important, doesn't it? Perhaps we need to get onto there. And let's see what we got. How would we get up there? Pipes aren't an answer. Getting a text message isn't the answer. So... If we get up there, what can we do? What's an awful lot, to be totally honest with you. We can get through there, but that's not what we want at this point. I think we need to get up here. And there's that platform there, and oh, what do we have here? Can we get on to... no, that's not going to help us. Oh, 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 I s think I see here we come out here we probably end up landing over there but we gotta work this out somehow oh 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 how about that let's see how that works welcome to the turret support group <laughs> friendship companionship a shoulder to cry on <laughs> Uh, okay, this is not helping us really as much as I was hoping it would. Oh, actually it might. It might, it might, actually. Can we... Ooh. Yeah, this is doing my vertigo loads of good. Can we get... We can, right. So if we put one there... And... Jump off here... Eee! Splat. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, 
I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Oh dear. Well, I wonder what happened to the previous experimenters. So, I mean, what can we what can we work out from this? Uh, welcome, test subjects. Please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Well, um, the people that apparently are being tested here are rocket scientists, uh, astronauts, are Olympians, are the great minds and bodies of the world at the time. And there, oh, there's Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson, there. And uh, apparently he's turned a large number of them to praise Mantis hybrid, so. Spirit of Idaho, National Potato Board for the Promotion of Potato Science, 1955. Cave Johnson, shower curtain salesman of 1943. Aperture fix aperture fixtures, that's it. Can't quite read those ones. But local inter entrepreneur buys salt mine. So I'm willing to bet that we are at the bottom of that particular salt mine, and it's blooming massive. So here we go through. place okay is that yeah is that how we get across let's have a look around first that's how we got in ah we can probably just run and jump there to be honest with you there we go Gosh, that time when there was ashtrays. Please wait for attendant to begin. Nope, sorry. Hasn't been an attendant here for 50 years. Got to give it to Valve. They've done a fantastic job on this, haven't they? So what are we playing on Saturday, Sunday, Simon? Very good question, I'm glad you asked. There will be some Minecraft, there will probably be a bit of Portal 2 if we haven't finished it. Um, I'm arranging for a few games with other people if they can, if they have the time to attend. A uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. I could probably do, probably do some Sims. Other than that, I think we are going to have to pretty much suck it and see. I've got a few ideas. It's really much depending on who turns up. Is that where I want to be? I wouldn't bet that is where I want to be. Ah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just quickly save the game here, guys. In two days is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, mate. How, uh, how old would you be? Now I really want to see what was over there. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> We're here now. Um, Robocraft? Yeah, Robocraft's a possibility. It's just a massive update I haven't looked at yet, so that might be fun to play. Um, no, no roofs, please. <laughs> i tell you what, okay, I actually really want to play The Sims 4 now. Um, yeah, the problem is it's it's it, the problem with the playing The Sims 4 is it's actually that actual design phase can take hours. Yeah, you know, uh, Laura and I were talking about it afterwards. I've spent a week designing a house. 
Um, and trying to do that in a live stream was probably not the best idea, but I think I'll actually do some actual gameplay now we've got the house and the people in there. So, know your allergens. Pollen, animal, dander, plastics, and antimatter. Hmm. Alright. Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes. No matter how good they smell. <laughs> Pump Station Alpha. Right, we now have the blue stuff. That's the way out. And what do we want to do here? Right, and it's through here, so this is obviously the way to go. Just got to work out where is the obvious place to go. We're locked in, so we can't go back. Oh, look. Up there. Want to share out the stream? Uh, okay, yep. Yep, the more people who turn up for the stream, the better. Yay! Right, there we go. Up here. see where this takes us. Gel flow. Well, we're not going down there. I think we want to end up over there. So let's actually see where this pipe takes us. Yeah, this, this looks like it's taking us where we want to go. Let's go they this way. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Oh, that's not a very reassuring statement, is it? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was some drawings down there, but no, it's a, a biohazard symbol, so... Hmm. They have this in the 1950s, good lord. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Andy Ray. Yeah, okay, so right, Sims 4, a couple of flavors of Minecraft. There's a few people I'm talking to about a few games. People, A few people asked me to play uh, a bit of Darkest Dungeon. And there's... Ooh, bright light. Bright light. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. <laughs> right, we're on track nine, and it looks like there is ten tests. And, you know, given the fact that we've got 10 hours to play, uh, I am open to suggestions, and I will be open to suggestions during the live stream. But if there's, if there's things that you think would like to be, you'd like to see me play, do shout out. Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. Ah. If you've not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 9 enrichment activities. So, apparently they were testing this gun back in the 1950s. Repulsion Gel was Aperture's first attempt at creating a dietic pudding substitute. It's true, the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation <laughs> that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of the dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, the product was pulled from the shelves. I wonder why.